In a world of seemingly endless possibilities, possibilities which include penultimate potential, menial mistakes and mishappenings, and men and women everywhere wishing for a better society, we ask this pervasive question. What causes some men to turn toward the bottle and others to turn away? Tell us a little about yourself. My name is Will Williams. I live here. And what is your relationship with the bottle? It's, it, it's nothing. Over. I turned from it long ago. The name is Jedediah. Uh, J-E-D-E-D-I-A-H. And you turned to the bottle in a time of desperation? <sighs> yeah. I was always late to work. Uh, traffic makes me anxious. And you thought the bottle would hold the answers to your problem? <sighs> yes. And did it? Absolutely. Wait, what? Join me on this adventure as we delve deep into the life of Will Williams, a real-life genie. There's so much to say, I, I don't really know where to begin. I mean, really, I'm just a normal guy. Doing normal things. With one exception. I can do things that no mere mortal can do. Truth is, I'm not a mere mortal. I'm... I'm a wizard. A wizard? I thought you were a genie. Well, it's a... The technicality, really. I mean, anciently speaking, when a genie was cursed, they'd have to crawl into um, the closest bottle or lamp and grant anyone who found them three wishes. And for you? I'm not restricted to any confined space. I have no obligations towards anyone but myself. Meaning? Meaning. I've been freed. Now don't get me wrong, I still grant wishes from time to time, but mostly out of the goodness of my heart. When you say wizard... I can do magic. But I'm not like one of those space wizards. Hello there. And I'm not one of those high school wizards either. There are so many different kinds of wizards out there. And I'm certainly not one of those who dresses strange and waves my hand in the air and walks through magical portals. Though I certainly can do that. A 
but I'm sure you're not as interested in who I'm not as you are in who I am. So who is the mysterious Will Williams? Why does he go by that name? What sort of wishes has he granted? All these questions and more to be answered next on Beyond the Bottle. Makeup check. Get good. Welcome back to Beyond the Bottle. We had a chance to talk to Will Williams about his background. Boom in the shot. Uh, raise the mic. Audio. Sound speed. Mark it. Will. Interview three. Take four. Set. Action. Well, the funny thing is, Will isn't really my name. No, uh, <laughs> I was a genie for thousands of years. That that was the only name I really knew to go by. But it's not very, it's not very masculine, if you ask me. So why Will Williams? Well, that's a funny story, to be honest. Um, I really like the Blue Genie from the Disney movies, and so I took the names of the two voice actors who portrayed him, and I felt like Robin Smith was also a little too feminine. Uh, no offense to any Robin Smiths who will be watching this documentary, um, but ultimately, ultimately, I went with Will Williams. It must have been very difficult coping with modern society. No, it wasn't. So tell us a little more about these wishes you've granted. How long have I known Will? I'd say about seven months now. You mentioned earlier that you went to him for help. Yeah, so I said I turned to the bottle. Which isn't exactly fair because Will doesn't live in a bottle. Um, that's not to say that I wouldn't turn to a bottle if there was a genie living inside. And he granted you three wishes? Three wishes? I didn't know he could do it more than once. I, I, I need to talk to that guy. I was late to work every day, so I asked for something to help. Let's just say that birds get very angry when you mess with their flight patterns. <laughs> it doesn't always go accordingly. On one occasion, these kids wanted to play laser tag. So, to the best of my knowledge, I equipped them with everything that they would need. Needless to say, the parents were less than happy when they got home. I never expected to make a great nanny. But I'm not a bad friend. Not exactly, anyways. I had this friend, Devin. At least I think it was Devin. Maybe it was Derek. I'm pretty sure it was Devin. He once wanted me to show him a solar eclipse. <laughs> I guess he'd always wanted to see one. Um, I offered to show him the northern lights. They're beautiful. Yeah, he refused. He refused that offer. He was adamant about seeing a solar eclipse. I told him the best I could do was two months out. 
You see, genies are not supposed to mess with astronomical events. Hey, what are you looking at? Why are there two moons? Oh my gosh! They're gonna crash! Let's, go, let's get out of here! Ah! Luckily, this rare phenomenon was only two months away. It was coming right through his area. <laughs> so, <whew. laughs> So you lied to him? Well, that's a strong word. You lied to him. Well, look, it... So what challenges have you faced as a genie or wizard? It hasn't been easy. I've been the victim of... prejudice. Name-calling. Misunderstandings. People can be very unforgiving. Unforgiving? Some guy wishes for a new base. You give him home plate. Next thing you know, he's taking the tickets back to the, to the concert he's playing at. I'm a genie, dang it, not a mind reader. People talk about being a minority. You know what? I'm the only genie I know. I really shouldn't complain, though. I would take this life over the bottle any day. I would never want to go back. You know, you just try to adjust the society the best you can. I mean, half the time, people don't even believe I am what I say. I couldn't imagine why. Wait one moment. You don't even believe me. What's going on here? You make this whole documentary and you don't even believe what I'm telling you? I have to be objective. Objective? <laughs> Look, I, I will grant you one wish. Done. All you have to do now is say the words. Look, I wish you were a genie and that you'd crawl back in that bottle and that would be that. It would certainly solve my problem. Was. What is this some sort of mockumentary? <laughs> what the? <laughs> what the heck? What on earth? No, 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 no! Ah! Where did he go? It would seem that, in the midst of filming this documentary, Will Williams has mysteriously disappeared. I hope they find him. I could really use his help. What would you ask him, if you could? Well, he was really cool. I wish he could come back. I got a whole list of things to talk to him about. I had this great idea for a superpower. Um, I like to garden a lot. Can you imagine how much money I would save on stamps each Christmas? Why is that? I wouldn't have to write Santa letters anymore. Please come back, Will. Please come back, Will. Please come back, Will. Who are you? Oh, I'm Steve. I suppose that's a wrap. What's with that bottle? It just looks like a bottle. Doesn't act like a bottle. Thank you for joining us on this interesting adventure. We hope it proved insightful for you. 
Join us next time as we dive into the chronicles of Gardenland.